That's exactly the bus like you've got on his thing. Alrighty. Oh, those are not, no, those are not gasolines. Alright, let's call him because right. I'm ready. We have not talked to this guy this yet. <laughs> well, you can drive through and drive out the other side. Just drive through and drive out the other side. Uh -oh. Just go through. Okay. Those, uh... In 400 feet, oh, turn Lord. left. There's nothing to say that uh, that one's being worked on right there. There's nothing to say that uh, these may not be, these may be for sale. Giant, they I mean, look they, like just school district buses. Yeah, they could be uh, being worked on. on. So that's probably where they're working on the buses. Do you want to, like, pull into town, Keep take a left here and pull into town and we'll go? I mean, that could be town right there. I don't know because I just shut the bus, the map off. But we could go into a cafe and make a phone call, and take it from there, and then have a little base to operate out of. Custom. All right, we'll see if we can track this guy down. This end up, this could end up being a bust. There's a bus with some kind of crap on the back of it. That's crazy. So we're gonna go and look for rigs. We're gonna try to get this guy on the phone and. Hopefully this whole drive all the way up here from uh, Casper, Wyoming wasn't a bust. We're here, this is the bus, it's a bus number 1140. And so hopefully that makes out to be a lucky number for us today. Right now the lady, there's a gentleman in the office here who seems kind of disconnected from the sales side of things, but stated that his daughter was at the courthouse straightening out a title and uh, I believe that he phoned her to let her know that we're here waiting. One of the things I, I like about this uh, bus is that I opened the hood. I asked the guy if I could open the hood and there's a lot of tree droppings in and around the hood and there's bird droppings on the windshield which does not need to be replaced like the last shuttle that we looked at. So all that shows me that this vehicle didn't just come from the auction. I'm going to ask her where she got it and see if I can get her to come down off the price, take it for a test drive, and just see how this is going to work out. But uh, the tires are in good condition. Uh, it doesn't look like it needs that much mechanically. It's got a couple of little nicks on it, but nothing that scares me away. So I'm just happy that we drove all this way and it wasn't for nothing. It looks like in short order we'll have the gal here to put the vehicle through its paces and see what kind of a number they're willing to come down to. And considering that it looks like it's been sitting here, uh, I'm optimistic that we're going to be able to uh, work something out on this. Here it is. It's got a Vortec 6.0 motor in it. It's a 2006. The odometer is reading 104,000 miles on it, so they must, the school district must put 100,000 miles on these gas engines and then releases them through auction. It's got Goodyear Wranglers, which are a good tire, and the tread seems to be in good condition. I would say that these are definitely not original tires. The rear tread is aggressive, most probably because this is an area that gets snow. Let's take a look underneath at what the frame looks like. If they get snow, I don't know if they put gravel or salt down. There is some rust beginning on here, but it doesn't look like it's very advanced. 
self-chaining, it said. So I don't know what that means. We may want to take those chains off because they might be something that would uh, get stuck on a road. Looks like it may, I'd want to put shocks on it too. Self-chaining, wow. I've never even heard of such a thing. Those chains don't look very substantial either. So I'd probably want to take the chains off just for clearance issues. But there you have it, 35 gallon tank, which means it's probably geared for the highway. If they're gonna put 35 gallon tanks on these, they're expecting you to be able to drive to the, the next town that's uh, an hour away to play the other team. So that means it's gonna be geared well. Everything's looking good so far. Everything's looking good so far. All we need to do is uh, meet with the gal and see what we can do. Here's what's going on. Bill is the father. Found out Brandon is in Casper. He just sent me a text. And the daughter is at court doing something to do with titles, I guess. It's really none of my business what she's doing. But we're gonna go and let the dogs stretch their legs. I gave Bill my phone number. So we'll go over and um, stretch the dog's legs and stuff. I'm kind of uh, nervous about being away from here for too long because I don't know if other people are gonna take as seriously as we do that we're here. And when you're sitting there waiting in the lot, they pretty much have to take, it, take you seriously. So we'll go over here, maybe spend a little bit of time, but we're gonna probably come back pretty fast and just kind of be on site so that, you know, these small towns, they work at a pretty slow pace and we want to make sure that we see her since we drove here. It's recording. All right, just talked to Katie. She uh, is the person that would do the deal for us and she has agreed to let us take it for a test drive. So let's warm this vehicle up and take it out and see if it's something that we want to go home with for Tamara. There's a button. You gotta put the key in and then press the button, I think. Yeah, there's a button. doesn't even have a handle. That's all. Because those mirrors were very much longer than I expected them to be. I don't know if Brandon uh, drove this last, but if he did, he's six foot five. Because I rarely have to scoot the seat forward. Okay. So we're gonna go out the road that we came in on so we can just get this. I just want to get it up to 60, 70 miles an hour. And um, and make sure it sounds good. I asked her, she says in the paperwork for the ad that this thing's got uh, a new transmission 6,000 miles ago and I asked her if she had paperwork on it and she said that she doesn't have paperwork on it but it's a local bus and people around here are known for their word and she said she could probably go to the school district and see but it was just on the uh, auction sheet. That's all she's going by. But even if this thing only had original transmission, that's only 106,000 miles and it's shifting well. So we're not gonna put our foots into it. If this thing's been sitting, we're probably the first people to test drive it since it uh, was purchased from the auction. What do we got for a fuel tank? We got over a half a tank of fuel and it's a 35 gallon tank. So we probably got 20 gallons of fuel in it right now. That's pretty exciting. Doing 30 miles an hour. Dude, I'm pumped. I love this thing. I'm in love, I want it. Ah, yeah, yeah, I want it for me. Are you kidding? Yeah. Are you kidding? I love it. So let's get out where we can get to uh, 
tires. 70 mile an hour speed limits. We could almost have hit that and gone up and back, huh? Do you think Sarah would have been able to get out of that window? Is that, did I keep it too low? I don't know. God, I we're, just, we're just gonna go down the interstate and pick up the next exit and come back. Okay, good. Is all we're gonna do, because I want to get it on the interstate. Or to prevent water leaks and stuff, but it's really not. It's not yeah. roof stuff. It's like this must be stuff. bad. It's lost its. It's lost its love. Spring. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah, I'm okay with it. All right, let's talk to her. Sweet. About it here. This is cool. I like the mic. The mic is the coolest part. All right, well, I'm gonna go talk to her and come up with a price and sign whatever paperwork needs to be signed. I'm gonna ask her about a temporary tag and uh, title because since she does this for a living, she'll know the answers to those questions and it's something that I don't know off the top of my head and I thought that whoever we dealt with wouldn't know, but she's gonna know. So let's just go on to the next thing, which is uh, making her an offer and uh, moving on with this thing and getting back towards the build site. I just mm -hmm. talked to her. I'm coming to get the cash. She's getting the paperwork ready. How much are we paying? $4,200. Yes! <laughs> awesome! So, I'm gonna um, do the paperwork with her. She's gonna give me a temporary tag. And um, I'm gonna get my phone. And we're just, we'll just scoot right over to that gas station, top off the tank, and I'll just tell my phone to take us to uh, uh, Ogden, Utah, to the build site, and we will um, stop somewhere along the way and maybe get some of this content up. But uh, it's probably going to take two days to get home. So here we go. Let me go. Let me go do this. Okay. Go, Savannah. You have to go. You're home. Got the keys. Got the bill of sale there is Tamara's new home I'm gonna whip over to the to the fresh start gas station and fill it full of gas and we're gonna start making our way west with Tamara's new home and we're taking the scenic route taking the scenic route which also happens to be the shortcut it, it's the diagonal so we're in the upper northeast part of the state and we're gonna drive to the uh, or the yeah the southwest part of the state to pick up uh, interstate 80 and so this whole thing has been worth it. All of the driving, all of the coming up here without knowing if we could meet up with the seller, it's all panned out. We got it for a good price. Uh, we're gonna fill it up with gas and start making our way 
uh, west. So come along, follow along. I'm gonna go fill it up. Then we're gonna get on the highway, get on 90 west and start driving, okay? okay. Your van's full already, right? I do wanna grab my wallet. Okay. Do you want to message me the location, like just send me a text message of the Google Maps location wherever we're going next, just in case I lose you? We're going to Gillette. Yeah, not like it's easy for me to lose this so, large. Yeah, area. so just remember Gillette, like Gillette Plus. Razors. Okay. Remember Gillette. And, um... Do you need help adjusting any of the mirrors or anything? I think, I think the mirrors are okay. I was checking them out with, um... Cause they were hard for me to use even just coming down the driveway a little bit so i just want to make sure just watch me and get like pull up here and get ready okay. so you don't have to go over there for no reason i'm gonna pull over fill up with gas and then i'm gonna go that way to pick up the interstate and you just follow behind me okay all right love you We're here at the new uh, build location for Tamara's rig, and I've got Dwayne Johnson's handsomer brother here with his buddies. And they just want to see what we're doing, see what's going on. How's it going? Right. Hey, pretty good. How you doing? Pretty good, pretty good. So we're with uh, Saratoga Springs Police, and we're just called up here to check things out. It's kind of out of place, you know, having a school bus, uh, you know, up on, you know, in a, in a hillside. So. Um, that's that's all that's all we're doing. We're gonna get get your information just for my records. Um, you know, you got. I'll give you a, a business card, right obviously. On. So if you have any questions for our department, you know, you can call back. And uh, but we're absolutely cool with you guys. I'm not saying, I'm not detecting anything illegal. Um, you know, so unless unless the uh, business owner, uh, you know, calls us or, or comes out here and lets you guys know to, to leave. You know, right. like I said. That's the case, you know. You'll probably have to leave. Uh, other than that, I'm not, you know, I'm not too concerned. So, yeah. good deal. So, well, all right, we'll give you whatever information you need. It's a Saturday. There's people out dirt bike riding. Were you guys at that Windy concert last night? I wasn't. I <laughs> no, wasn't. I was. Yeah. I it was away from that. It was you great while it lasted, and then a storm came in. Yeah. Oh, there it was, was a storm. lot of wind. Yeah. It's, it's usually not like that. I don't know if they, if they cancel the fireworks or. They're uh, tonight. Yeah, they yeah. postponed them for a day. Yeah, they a not if it's not windy, it's going to get right. <laughs> it we'll see. blow pretty good a while ago. So, uh, so we're just waiting for the wind to quit a little bit. And I'm, I'm going to get another video out on us picking this up. You've, you've probably already seen it by the time you see this. And uh, hopefully if the wind knocks down a little bit, we're going to start uh, the process of getting this thing uh, whipped into shape fast, but uh, these police officers, they want to know why we're here. They're being super polite and everything, so it's not a big deal if you're out like this and somebody wants to approach you. Don't be afraid. They're, they're not scary. Thank you.